On Friday, 28th April, RM Rajnath Singh chaired the SCO meeting of defense ministers of member countries. After becoming the full member of Shanghai Cooperation Organization in June 2017, this is the first time that India is the chair of SCO in 2023. Eight member Eurasian organization SCO is predominantly a China centric organization since its formation in June 2001. SCO succeeded Shanghai 5 that was formed in 1996 between PRC, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia and Tajikistan. Defense ministers of China, Russia, Iran, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and of Tajikistan attended the meeting. Iran and Belarus participated as observer states. The minister discussed issues of common concerns, including issues of regional and international security under charter of SCO during the meeting. Under his presidency, RM Rajna Singh passed on a strong message to both China and Pakistan. Rajna Singh has called upon the Shanghai Cooperation Organization member states to collectively work towards eliminating terrorism in all its forms and fix accountability on those who aid or fund such activities. Rajna Singh asserted that any kind of terrorist act or support to it in any form is a major crime against humanity and peace and prosperity cannot coexist with this menace. Rajna Singh added that India envisions a robust framework of regional cooperation which mutually respects the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all member states by taking care of their legitimate interests. He asserted that New Delhi strives to further bolster trust and cooperation among the members of the SCO as it believes in maintaining peace and security based on the provisions of the Charter of the United Nations. As we all know, that China, who plays great game with zero-sum game, Rajna Singh once again highlighted the futility of such moves, sharing his insight on the vision to ensure collective prosperity, the Raksha Mantri called for concerted efforts by the SU member states so that the region with limitless possibilities in today's multilateral world shifts to the mindset of great gain from win-win paradigm from great game of zero-sum game will lose paradigm. India has always followed the principle of let us walk together and move forward together. Every era has a zeitgeist which we call defining idea. The zeitgeist of the present era is win-win cooperation for the great gain. Rajna Singh also elaborated on the concept of secure floated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi during the SU summit in Qingdao, China in 2018. He stated that every alphabet of the world secure reflects India's commitments towards the multidimensional welfare of the region. S stands for security of citizens, E economic development for all, C stands for connecting the region, U uniting the people, R respect for sovereignty and integrity, E stands for environmental protection. Yesterday, during the bilateral meeting, with his Chinese counterpart, General Li Shangfu, Raksha Mantri categorically conveyed that development of relationship between India and China is premised on prevalence of peace and tranquility at the borders. He added that all issues at the LSE needs to be resolved in accordance with existing bilateral agreements and commitments. He reiterated that violation of existing agreements has eroded the entire basis of bilateral relations and disengagement at the border will logically be followed with de-escalation. Today, Raksha Mantri Rajna Singh held a bilateral meeting with the Minister of Defense of Russia Army, General Sergei K. Soigu, on the sidelines of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Defense Minister's Meet. The two ministers discussed wide-ranging issues of bilateral defense cooperation, including military-to-military -military ties as well as industrial partnership. They also discussed the Russian defense industry's participation in India's Make in India initiative and ways to provide further impetus to it. The two ministers also discussed matters on regional peace and security. They expressed satisfaction over the continued trust and mutual respect between the two countries, particularly in defense and reiterated their commitment towards strengthening the partnership. 
they acknowledged the unique, long-lasting and time-tested relationship between India and Russia. Apart from meeting his Russian counterpart, R.M. Rajnath Singh also hold bilateral meetings with his Uzbek, Belarusian, Kyrgyz, Kazakh and Tajikistani counterparts on the sidelines of SEO Defence Minister's meeting in New Delhi. R.M. also has a bilateral with his Iranian counterpart, Brigadier General Mohammad Reza. The, met, the meeting uh, that took place in a very cordial and warm atmosphere, both the leaders emphasized on the age-old cultural, linguistic and civilizational ties between the two countries, including people-to-people -people connect. Both the ministers reviewed the bilateral defense cooperation and exchanged views on regional issues, including peace and stability in Afghanistan. Further, the two ministers discussed the development of the International North-South Transport Corridor to ease logistic problems to Afghanistan and other countries in Central Asia. Thanks for watching National Defense. Jai Hind, Bande Matra.